The power of knowledge can go a very long way. Look how far it has already carried us, from our most basic quest for survival to our expanding reach into the universe. Today, our thirst for knowledge continues to propel us into new and uncharted frontiers. It has been worshipped. It purifies. It can mesmerize, illuminate, and properly utilize. It's an incredible source of energy to be used for good. Fire, a living element that must be fed in order to survive, and when out of control, will feed on everything in its path. For those among us with the calling to fight this wonderful yet fearful force, getting the best training available can be the difference between life and death. From the first time I attended Oklahoma State, uh, going back to 1970, and looking at the training and the education today, uh, the advances are, you know, light years ahead. Uh, we learned how to do tasks. Uh, we learned what things did. Uh, but we weren't able to scientifically calibrate uh, the effects of all those items. Uh, looking at the burn lab today, watching those students uh, extinguish the fires and more importantly capture the information from it uh, is just, it was not physically possible for us to do uh, 42 years ago. Uh, we learned how to extinguish fires. We learned the capabilities of extinguishers, for example. We learned the general capabilities of systems. But we couldn't reproduce those each and every day. Uh, the labs, the opportunity to get out and do and test and play with the tools and equipment, uh, the systems, uh, it's all there. Uh, it's not a sit in the classroom and read a book about something program. This is an opportunity to go out and actually do and put to use what you were learning uh, as you're learning it. And uh, that's just incomparable in other situations. Today, fire protection and safety is only a part of what emergency responders need to train for in our world of ever-increasing uncertainty and natural disasters. Experts in the field say the best approach is one of loss prevention, which includes losses from accidents and environmental releases as well as fire. The Oklahoma State University School of Fire Protection and Safety is unique in that it was recognized as a national treasure by the President's Committee on the Arts and Humanities in Washington, D.C. The unique aspects of the Oklahoma State School of Fire Protection and Safety are that we believe that students should have both the theoretical and practical application of knowledge necessary to be successful in their fields right when they graduate. So we teach them that while they're here. Uh, you can see our lab is very practical in nature and outside of the classroom. So in the classroom we give them the theoretical application and in the laboratory we give them the practical application. In addition, our, our alumni base is uh, very large and spread all across around the world and has great camaraderie, allowing students to, to have um, opportunities immediately upon graduation to network with alumni and also opportunities for employment. Celebrating 75 years, the Oklahoma State University School of Fire Protection and Safety is the only program of its type in the United States and is the largest publisher of fire service training materials in the world. Fire Protection Publications at Oklahoma State University is the headquarters for IFSTA, the International Fire Service Training Association. We're the world's largest publisher of training materials for firefighters. We've been in that business since the 1930s. One of the reasons our materials are so widely accepted is they don't have just one author. The books are validated by teams of firefighters that agree on the way to do the procedures. Perhaps they'll be from urban fire departments and rural fire departments, and that they'll be paid and volunteer firefighters, and they'll all agree on the best way to meet the job performance requirements. Our training materials are also based on the National Professional Qualification Standards for the Fire Service. There are job performance requirements for firefighters, fire inspectors, fire chiefs, fire investigators, and those job performance requirements serve as the basis for the materials that we produce. Established as the first academic program for firemanship in North America in 1937, today, OFST provides training and educational services that enable Oklahoma emergency responders to safely meet recognized standards of professional competence. From 
hazardous materials and industrial rescue to wildlands firefighting, as well as fire inspection and investigation, OFST has evolved into one of the most comprehensive schools of its type in the world. One of the aspects of Oklahoma State life was living in a campus fire station. And the network of connections that I made there has been tremendous. It served me for the last 40 years. Uh, along with the skills and the knowledge that you learn, the people that you connect with uh, come back to assist you years and years later. In my case, uh, on the morning of September 11th, 2001, uh, connections that I had made here in Stillwater were critical. When I recruit a graduate of Oklahoma State University School of Fire Protection and Safety, I know that I have a candidate, I have a solid education on fire protection, safety, and industrial hygiene. An individual that can make contributions as soon as they join the organization and help protect people, property, and the environment. You can learn more about the Oklahoma State School of Fire Protection and Safety at www.fpst.oakstate.edu.